Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikrishnan. Today we are going to learn about the difference between global variable and the constants in the latest update of UiPath. As we all know, recently UiPath has released the 2022.10 recent updates and because of these updates, we are getting more enhanced features in the uh, UiPath Studio. Right. So one important update with uh, this uh, new uh, release is the introduction of global variable and the constant right and we can see this global variable and the constants in the data manager i already introduced this data manager in one of our previous video and i clearly explained like what is data manager and what is the use of this data manager right so those who haven't seen that video i will just give you a brief intro again about data manager so data manager is nothing but it's a panel where you can see all the uh, resources that is part of your uh, ui path like variables you can see arguments you can see or if you have the namespaces that you can see uh, or uh, if you want to see any resources that you can see or if you want to see the assets processes queues that is uh, there in the orchestrator everything you can view it in the data manager right so what you can do is just go to filter and all these uh, uh, data you can uh, get in the data manager right like variables argument constants resources entities then process asset queues connections namespaces all these will be available in data manager right and uh, how we can create these constants and uh, this global variable can we do it from this variable panel uh, actually we can't do that okay so this variable panel is one option for creating the variable but it will be maximum up to the, the scope of the main okay we cannot create it globally or we cannot create as a constant so if you want to create it, uh, uh, as a global variable or if you want to create it as a constant you need to use the data manager okay so how you can uh, create the variable um, in a global scope for that what you can do is just click on here you can click and here you can click on new variable or uh, uh, directly you can click on this variable then you can click on new variable okay anything is fine so let me name it like a uh, global and underscore variable okay so this is global underscore variable and data type i am keeping it as a, a string and currently the scope is main right uh so main is my xml and it is current scope is main but if you want to by default it is main okay but if you want to uh change the scope of this variable to global what i need to do i need to select this global okay so if i select that global this variable will get declared as the global variable okay i hope you understood okay so now you can see uh, our variable has changed to global and you can see a new symbol over here let me create a new variable one more variable um, in there okay so this is one normal variable right so let me give some value like uh, hello okay and to this global uh, variable also i'm giving some value uh let me give it like uh, this is the global variable okay so i just provided some value and uh, let me go back here one thing what you need to notice is okay so this is one normal variable right so this normal variable uh i can change the data type i can change or if i need to change the scope i can change all these things that i can do with the normal variable right but what about global variable i can just update the value and i cannot change the data type or the scope okay once you declare a variable as global means it is always a global variable okay you cannot modify that you can modify only the value but you cannot modify uh, the name or you cannot modify the data type or you can modify the scope the only option is you can delete it and you can uh, create a new variable for deleting you can do with uh, delete variable if you go with edit variable the only option is you can edit only this value okay i hope you got it understanding 
then what is the difference between this global variable and constant okay for that let me do one thing let me go to constant and create a new constant over here okay so let me name it like a okay uh, for these i put it like global variable right so for this one let me put it like constant variable okay then type i'm keeping it as text and for this constant these are the uh available type okay so this also you need to keep in mind you can create a constant like text, number true or false or number with the decimals date or duration okay so let us see the same thing in uh global also like what are the different data types that is available so this default value this is the constant variable okay let me try to create a new variable okay i am just keeping it like that and uh, i'm uh, choosing the scope as global okay so once you choose uh, what is it so once you choose it as global you will not able to uh, modify the type okay so let me delete this so what did what you need to do like if you want to select a particular data type for your global variable initially you need to choose the data uh, data type then only you need to choose the scope okay <coughs> so let me put it like okay array okay uh, i want to create an array of uh, um, string okay okay and here i am going to change the scope to global okay so that's it so to global variable you can create a variable of any data type but to constant you can create uh constants of some certain type okay that i already showed you but the scope of constants will be global okay so the uh, scope of constants will be global so that's it and what is the different difference between this global variable and constant variable that we haven't discussed yet right so i will show you that with a real time example so let me create a sequence over here okay so let me name it like a sequence one I'm going to create a new sequence sequence two okay so i have uh, two sequences sequence one and the sequence two let me go to main and what i'm going to do i'm going to invoke both these sequences okay so i'm going to invoke both the sequences and what is the change i'm going to do so let me do one thing um so earlier Mm, like if you want to pass one value from main to uh, some other workflow like uh, if you are calling uh, any other uh, sequence of workflow using invoke workflow what was the procedure you need to create the argument and you need to pass the value from main variable to the uh, workflow argument right so you need to create the argument to this particular workflow and you need to create as in direction and you need to pass the value from the main variable to that particular argument right that was the procedure that we used to follow earlier right but let me go here let me go to the sequence and i'm going to use a message box okay okay let me go to message box let me give control space and uh, okay here if i search i can find the constant variable okay here i can find the constant variable so let me put, okay so let me put it like that and uh, let me add our global variable as well okay so these are the two variables that we have created so it means we can access the global variable and constant variable inside any workflow okay so if you declare a constant variable and a global variable you can access that to global variable and constant variable inside any workflow if you are invoking that workflow or if you are even not invoking that workflow earlier you, you need to create the argument and you need to get the value from main to that workflow but now what you can do you can directly get that variable okay you don't need to use the argument center 
okay again what is the difference between global and the constant variable okay for that what i'm going to do is so here i have uh assigned a value like mm, okay so this is global variable right and for constant i put it like this is a constant variable then what i'm going to do let me do one thing let me use an assign activity okay global variable okay i'm going to modify the value of this global variable okay so let me put it like this is a modified modified value of global variable okay let me do the same for constant as well this is a modified value okay so here you can see if you are using the global variable it is throwing the error because if you declare a global variable okay sorry uh, here i have used constant variable so if you declare a, uh, a variable as constant you cannot change the value of that constant okay so whatever the value that you have provided during the declaration only that value you can use and you cannot change the value of the constant okay that's why you are getting this error if i change this to global variable i can modify it right because if you declare a variable as a global variable and not as a constant you can modify the value of global variable right but you cannot change the value of a constant variable that you are declaring let me delete it and what i'm going to do is let me go to sequence 2 okay let me add a message box okay here i'm going to give global variable and again i am going to give constant variable okay so this constant variable value is not modified because we cannot do that okay so once you declare a value is constant you cannot modify the value now what i am going to do let me save both this and i am going to execute this main sequence okay So it's compiling it will take uh, some uh, time okay so this is the global variable that is the default value of the global variable click on okay and this is a constant variable okay so this is the uh, default value of the constant variable now this is executed in the sequence one right now after that we have provided a uh, assign and we modified the value of the global variable and this has happened in the sequence two right this is a modified value of global variable so it means the value of global variable you can modify within any of the sequence okay and this is uh, again the value of constant variable it means you can access both global variable and constant variable anywhere within your automation but you cannot modify the value of constant variable but you can modify the value of global variable okay i hope you got an understanding and again let me go to data manager okay so if you want to see the scope okay if you want to see the scope of uh uh, see the scope of these variables what you can do so here we have a string variable and a constant variable you have the access of this constant variable and uh, this global variable in all the sequences right okay so you can see uh, the global variable as well as the constant variable inside uh, sequence one as well and here also you can see the global variable and the constant variable but let me create in another variable okay so, uh, yeah here we have one variable right string uh, string where of type string and the scope is main and this string where we are not able to access inside a sequence one and sequence two okay so that is the difference between constant variable and the global variable 
I hope you got an understanding about uh, the local variable and constant variable and how you need to use it in your automation. Okay, so just consider uh, while uh, doing some automation, you have some value that you need to keep it as constant. Uh, just consider if it is some threshold value. Okay, you are aware like in your entire automation that the threshold value you need to keep it as constant. Okay, then what you can do, you can declare a constant variable and you can uh, set the default value right and just consider uh, if you want to create a global va a variable and you need to access that global variable in different sequences right but one thing is you need to modify the value uh, in each of the workflow then you can create a global variable and uh, uh, you can set the scope as global okay then uh, you can modify the value of that uh, global variable okay so i hope you got a clear understanding about global variable and constant variable and these are the uh, features that has newly introduced with the uh, latest release of UiPath Studio 2022.10 release. And those who haven't explored this feature, just open your studio, uh, just update to the latest version of studio and go to data manager and create a, the global variable and constant variable. Let me go to uh, the documentation as well. So here it has mentioned the, uh, the scope property gives variable a well-defined context in which they can be used. The scope can be set to global available in the entire project okay so global means it will be available in the entire project the current workflow file or any container activity within the workflow file you can only create a global variable from the data manager okay you cannot create it from the variable panel you need to go to data manager and from here only you can create the global variable and constant variable okay so i hope uh, you understood about uh, this global variable and constant uh, variable if there is any confusion regarding these two topics please do uh, mention in the uh, comment box okay and if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye